Hi guys, welcome back to the God Medicine Coffee Channel. I am Rihanna and in this video, this will be part two of everything I knitted in 2022. First and foremost, I just want to humbly apologize. The, the rest of the video, the audio isn't that great because I, when recording, I did not realize how loudly the television was coming through in the background. So again, I'm really sorry about that. I tried to fix it in editing, but there was so, only so much I can do. So again, I'm really sorry. So I hope you're still able to get something from the video. So without further ado, let's get into the rest of the video. So the next item I have to show you is the Weekend Sweater by Darling Jador. I cannot remember, right, that was the sweater that I was wearing in the video last night. Um, I cannot remember what size I made this in, but I used um, li the Lion Brand Pound of Love in Oxford Grey and um, Cinnabar to make the stripes, and also the um, Bernat um, Super Value in the Colorway Honey. So this um, sweater has been several iterations, but it has finally settled on this one. I initially um, used this yarn to make a sweater, my own pattern. I didn't use a pattern in that one. And it came out okay, you know, and I just wanted like a nice oversized sweater just to wear around the house, just to lounge in. And it sealed its purpose, but it did have some structural issues. So I decided to rip the whole thing out and try to find, you know, another sweater pattern and they tried to make the sweater number 17 but it was not enough yarn to make um to make that because i think the sweater number 17 is the broken rib and that eats up a lot of yarn so it wasn't enough and i ripped it out and i eventually found this pattern and i decided to make this so this is what it looks like it has um a folded collar and a very square construction. I decided to add stripes to it because the original pattern doesn't have it. And I can't remember much about this project because I was really bad at taking notes of this project. So it has um, a twisted rib, the collar, and the, um, the cuffs and the bottom of the sweater as well. I really love how that looks. Um, so I ran out of yarn um, for the stripes, the cinnabar yarn, so I had some leftover um, burnout um, scraps from another, another item that I made, I think in 2021, I think, yeah. I'll insert a picture of what that top looks like, and that's what I used to finish the stripes. So this is just a sweater, like I said, just to have, just to wear around the house to lounge in. You saw me wearing it um, in the other clips. So it serves its purpose. Like it was a very, I think this is a very um, beginner-friendly pattern. If you're looking to knit your very first sweater, this is the perfect pattern to do that. I personally found that it was very easy to do. Um, it does have some German short row shaping, but in my opinion, the instructions for the German short rows are very easy to understand and there are video tutorials to show you how to do it. That you, I think even a beginner could learn how to do it. I don't think it's difficult once you know how to knit, you know how to purl, um, there are video tutorials on how to do the twisted rib and everything. So I think it's a beginner friendly um, pattern. I really enjoyed knitting it. it was quick knit. I think it took me about a week to make this. Yeah, about, I think I finished in a week. Yeah, so it's pretty easy and it's, it's true to its name. It is a weekend sweater that you would just wear and lounge around the house in over the weekend when you don't really have much to do. So I think it definitely suits its purpose and I love it, you know. So, weekend sweater. So the next project that I have to show you is the Camisole number no. 8 by My Favorite Things Knitwear. I made this in a size small using the Yarn Morocco Weekend DK, DK yarn in the Colorway Cottage. And this is an acrylic um, Peruvian cotton blend. Um, I did do some modification to this um, pattern. I made it a little bit longer than the pattern asked for and I made the ribbing for the 
he bought um, yeah. the neckline, the armholes, all the like, shorts that I'm the pattern um, asked for. So let me show you exactly what this um, top looks like. So it is all over um, cables, and again, I thoroughly enjoyed making this. Like again, from what I, what I mentioned before, after making the Ondawa sweats, I realized that I do enjoy making cables and this project was really fun to do. I used my cable needles same way and I enjo enjoyed making this. And I remember when I saw the teaser for this um, pattern on Instagram, I was just waiting for the English pattern to drop. I went to my aunt's local yarn store, I bought the yarn. And I was just waiting, waiting patiently for the pattern to drop because I was really, really excited to make this. So when I first saw it, I'll insert a picture of what the original design looked like when I saw the color and just how nice it looked. I already envisioned myself wearing this top to um, <clears throat> get some water. I already envisioned myself wearing this to class wearing this for clerkship and yeah I did use about four skeins so this the cables definitely eat up a lot of yarn because I use about four skeins of the the Barocco um, weekend yarn so yeah it does eat up a lot of yarn so because of that um, yeah so I had to make the ribbing a little bit shorter because I was running out of yarn so yeah, I, again, I love this and I definitely want to make this in another color. I think I want to go with a gray, a kind of um, dark gray, kind of like the original um, pattern or maybe closer to a dark brown, something of the sort, but I definitely know I want to make it in a dark color. I just want to show you all these beautiful cables and just how great this looks. Uh, it feels really nice. I really like this yarn from Morocco. It is, it's not the softest, but it's definitely um, feels a lot better than um, some of the cottons that I've used before. So, yeah, and have been able to get a lot of use out of this. So, I definitely want to make another one. And yeah, I don't know if I necessarily want to use mohair. I might, you know, because I do like how, you know, the halo looks and everything, so I might, I might consider it, but just use something, just, I just want a deeper, just to see how the cables look in a deeper color, like a more gray, you know, I just think it has a very kind of dark academia look to it, and I think if I knit it in a deeper color, it will kind of give off that vibe, you know, so, yeah, console number eight. Right, so the next project I have to show you is this one here. I hope this is it. Yeah, this one. This one doesn't really have the pattern, doesn't have a name because I got it from the Bellish app. So if you are a knitter, um, or yeah, if you're a knitter, you would have known or have heard of the Bellish app. I think it was shut down earlier last year, I think sometime in January, February and because of that i screenshotted some of the patterns that i had saved on the app and i was going through my camera roll and i decided to kind of um make the sweater so i'm going to call this my coffee and cream coffee with cream sweater just i don't know what else to call it but um i used the lion brown pound of love in the color of white and um for the coffee part of the sweater I used um, this filatura lanarata mosaic mohair in the colorway 31198 so the color doesn't have a name just as a number um, well that's what gives it this kind of um, gradient appearance I really like how this turned out I haven't really been able to get much use out of this but one thing I do like about the pattern from the Bellish app is that they included like, you know, shaping to the bust and stuff like their dots um, included in, sh in um, shaping the 
the bust and the elements of waist shaping and all of that to kind of you know give the the garment a nicer shape because most of the sweaters that you wouldn't that are on the um the market are just you know box, very boxy and they don't have a lot of shape so i kind of appreciate those little design elements but i was kind of afraid that i was going to run out of the mohair so i after the first gain ran out i kind of did a few rows with just the um the pound of love and then I started the second skein and um, I was able to finish at least finish the two sleeves you know and I left just the cuffs and stuff and the collar you know with all the mohair just to you know avoid it running out so the, um, the mohair that I used um, it is an acrylic blend and it's not the softest I actually don't like wearing it because I do find it to be a little bit prickly like normally my skin isn't very sensitive to those kind of things but when I put this one I could definitely feel the fibers sticking me in my skin so I don't really like that so I washed it I used fabric softener to try to get the um, to make the material softer but it hasn't really helped it's still very prickly but this is my coffee and cream so as I do love the um, a transition between the light light browns to the dark browns and just to see that give the um the pound of love um yarn this really nice kind of heathered um appearance i really i really like how it looks and i mean it yeah it's just really really nice yeah. but and i do think um yeah i think i'll rip out the, the color and just knit it flat instead of um, this folded color. Yeah, I think that I'll be able to enjoy this a lot more. So, coffee and cream sauce. Alright, so the next item that I made is this one. This is another camisole number five. I made this in the size small using the yarn drop saffron in the color we pistachio yeah so I made another camisole number five because it's my favorite um, this time I didn't do any modifications um, I more or less followed the pattern exactly and now that I see like just the pattern for what it is I really really like it I love how the neckline just kind of swoops around the bust line I just love how it looks it has a very pretty shape and everything um, I found a really good tutorial for the instructions for the double knitting so I was able to um, find a tutorial that showed you how to seam up the double knitted edges in a very seamless way because I wasn't able to do that with the last one that I did in the beige color but I was able to get it in this one so I don't know if you can see but I was able to get the seams pretty seamless there so yeah I really love how this one turned out and yeah I will definitely be making more in several other colors in the future and I think I'm just gonna wear this for the rest of the video because I haven't been able to wear it since I made it because I made it right after my exams so um, yeah I haven't been out anywhere to wear it so I'll just be wearing it for now yeah cancel number five so the next item is the april cardigan by petite knit i made this in a size medium using um drops merino extra fine in a colorway desert rose right um the only modification i made to this pattern was that i knitted the body two and a half inches longer than the pattern called for and i did for the the button band i did double knitting instead of ribbing and that's about it yeah so this pattern i am the most proud of like this turned out so beautifully like this let me button it up and show you how this looks this is the prettiest thing <laughs> ever like i thought it's sweater sweater number 16 was it for me but after i made this i was like yeah girl this is just something else. I love 
love, love, love. Oh, this card again turned out. Yeah, so the this is my first time ever using wool, um, pure wool to knit with. And I really like it. It's really soft and it's definitely very warm. Um, I've worn it out a few times and it looks lovely. I just love the finish. Um, I think the double knitting um, button band looks a lot nicer because one thing I noticed from um, on Ravelry, from pictures on Ravelry, the first button on everyone's cardigan, well not everybody, but most people, the first button on their cardigan tends to pull like this for the ripped um, button band. And it doesn't really have that with um, the double knitting. So I think um, that that kind of made me want to go with the double knitting instead of the, the ribbed because I didn't want to have that kind of um, pulling in front that look like that, you know? So yeah, I'm really, I just love, you know, how it has these little um, details on the shoulder. That kind of um, there. All the different you know I it just it's just a really solid beautiful cardigan <laughs> I really really love how it turned out I was really proud of myself when I made this it's like I really put a lot of effort into it because I really wanted it to be you know something that's actually wearable like I could wear this out of the house and it's going to look good you know so when I was done I was like wow like give yourself a round of applause it looks lovely you know as an open cardigan and it looks lovely you know buttoned up it just looks so good i really really love this like and i see myself getting a lot of wear out of this um this cardigan i love it love it so much it's so pretty and i love the color you know i was expecting this um this desert rose to look a bit more coral like on the site i bought it from wool warehouse and on the site it looked a little more peach kind of coral color so i was expecting that but it, in person it looks more blush pink so i mean it's fine i could live with it i could live with this color because it it does go with anything even with you know this green this pink with this green actually looks really nice you know pairs well together so i think i have an outfit right here <laughs> but yeah really really proud of this cardigan and i definitely want to make more cardigans this year i've made so many sweaters i definitely want to make more cardigans and i have more in mind i'll share more on that later the next thing that i did was the twisted loop top by other loops um i made this in a size small i think using um drops loves you number seven in the colorway plum so i didn't do any modifications to this i knitted it just as the pattern required and i love it i love how it turned out just another really great console and again you know it having cables was an added bonus because it made you know knitting the body of it a more pleasurable experience Usually after you get through, when it comes to knitting camisoles, after you get past the the um, the straps and you um, join for the body, knitting it becomes really really mundane and boring. It just kind of you just can't wait to finish. So with knitting this, um, with the cables and you know reading the charts and everything, that made the um, the knitting body a lot less boring, a lot more interesting. So. We just give you a nice you know view of the top it looks pretty similar to the other camisoles that i made you know it's a three by two rib um pattern and it's just really beautiful and i definitely see myself getting a good bit of use out of this i can see myself wearing this to class wearing this you know as a nice top to run errands in you know it's just really cute and i think i may I think I may make another one. Um, I was th I could see this in like a kind of icy blue color, you know, just so that the um, cables could show up a little bit more. Like in person, you can see it, but on camera, it kind of seems to disappear. But it's you know a nice pattern and very pretty. I really like it, so I'm definitely be making another one. 
So yeah. Right, Twisted. So I just have a couple honorable mention items that I started knitting last year, 2022, and I finished early this year. So the first item is this. The, this is the Oslo hat from Petite Knit. I made this using um, the Lion Brown Wool Ease in the colorway um, Dark Rose, Dark Rose Heather. And for the stripes, I used um, some leftover um, Pound of Love in Oxford Grey. I made this in a size small and this took like a day to finish. And this was like my first official time official time making a beanie like I've made a beanie before but it was for my godson and it was the size of a fist so it's really tiny so this was my first time you know officially making like a full size um beanie and really enjoyed it um definitely would like to make another one um I really like how it looks I love this color I love this woolies yarn it's the first time I've ever using woolies and I love the rustic appearance of it, the um, little white fibers in it. I don't know if you can see, but it has a very nice rustic appearance that I really like. And I just think it's the prettiest thing ever. I just love the color when I was just perusing the mall, you know, doing some last minute shopping. And I passed through craft creators and I saw this one skein remaining and I bought it. And I told myself, yeah, I'm gonna make a beanie this so I really love how it looks I think it looks really cute yeah yeah I love it I love the color and everything I just think it's really cute and the next thing that I made was this um, cardigan this is the game set cardigan from Kara's Knits I made this in a size medium um, using the drops alpaca Boucle mix in a colorway gray. So the pattern originally called for me to use a 6.5 millimeter needle, but I use a 5 millimeter needle instead because I thought the gauge looked um, a bit too loose for my liking. So I wanted it a little tighter. So I followed the instructions for the size medium instead of small, just to kind of even it off there and I really like this cardigan I appreciate how accurate the estimated amount of yarn for this pattern was and I appreciate that you know the pattern emphasized the meterage rather than grams of yarn I appreciate that she just said use this amount of meters for this size and these are the amount of skeins that you may need to buy I really appreciate that because the estimation was really really Spot on. I have like the tiniest amount remaining. I was surprised that two yarn, two skeins was able to make just the body alone, and the, the other two skeins I used to make um, the sleeves. So I used four skeins in total. So yeah, I really really like that. But yeah, this is a really cute um, cardigan. I like the fit and everything. Um, yeah, I just. I love it and it's very warm. The Bukwe Apaka, I was very surprised of how warm it was because we don't really wear animal fibers here in the Caribbean. Not, it's not common to see anyone wearing animal fibers like wool or cashmere or alpaca or anything like that. So when I hear people saying like alpaca is really, really warm, I, you know, I didn't really take it seriously until I bought this. Like every time I put this on, I really I start burning up really quickly. Well, I have on my air conditioning right now, but this will definitely help me out when school starts back and I have, you know, lectures in the coldest lecture theaters in the world, in my opinion. I think they are the coldest lecture theaters in the world. So this would definitely help me out. And I love the modern design and the modern fit. So it looks really cute and stylish, but at the same time, it's going to keep me warm. So I love the fluffiness of the Bukwe Alpaca. I love this so much. It's so soft. It's lovely. It feels like a teddy bear. Like this feels really, really nice. I don't know if I would knit with Bukwe again because you could barely see these stitches to knit this. Like I think you have to be a person that's experienced with knitting with Bukwe to use it because it was so hard to see stitches. I kept dropping stitches and I'm sure there are some drop stitches, you know, 
stuck in here somewhere but when whenever I drop stitches I just did like a make one in the middle to um, get back the um, accurate stitch count and continue knitting I dropped stitches so many times because I just could not see because of how fluffy this yarn is so it, it's definitely um, a difficult yarn to work with but at the same time the results speak for itself it's just so fluffy like you can kind of almost see the outline of the ribbing here and the cuffs not so much but kind of it just uh, it just looks so nice I love it I'm definitely going to get a lot of use out of it so I love it so that's so that's it for everything that I made in 2022 I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that um, you were able to get some ideas of some patterns that you would like to try out and I don't know if I will be making any knit content that often but if that's something that you would like to see me do more let me know in the comments I'll try to you know incorporate some more of my hobbies into my content and yeah so that's it I hope you have a blessed year ahead and I hope that um 2020 2023 goes goes even better than 2022 and for you and yeah I'll see you in your next video bye